Dynamite Bonya Dub comes next. Jungle Boogaloo is picking up quite takingly. Then Candid, and behind those pushed along Berkey Queen. So making their way now with a furlong and a half to go. Acacia Cortez and Pink Sands dispute the lead. Now the gap's there for Divine Spirit, who's asked to pick up and does so in quite taking fashion. Moving through to Pink Sands and Divine Spirit, when she got the gap, she was free to post, but she picked up smartly. Divine Spirit, the expensive purchase, makes a winning debut. Mrs. Flanders is now breezing up into contention in nice style. Star Alexander's just in behind those, followed then by Inya Mazane. The back marker is Wafra. Final songs found a little bit more then, drifting towards the far side, but quickening nicely here. Final song, a daughter of Dark Angel for Saeed Bin Saroor and Asheen Murphy quickly put this to bed. Now that was impressive. Final song. We'll be hearing much more about her, you would have thought. Back towards the final couple of furlongs they come. Misty Gray right under the near side rail, still there by a couple. Don't joke giving chase. Behind that, King Lennox trying to pick up. Mystic Knight down the center, but Misty Gray's blazing away here. Down towards the final furlong they go. Misty Gray's gone away by the best part of six. Coming out of the pack, oh so Rapido in second. King Lennox next, then Lexington Warfare, but this is a procession racing up towards the line. Misty Gray is scorching home, pillar to post. Misty Gray wins for Jason Hart. Oh so Rapido being taken on now by Theory of Time, traveling up there strongly in the blue. Star in the making comes next behind these fashion free and towards the outside Rosa Dora. It's Theory of Time who's moved through to claim Love Love. Star in the making trying to come and join in as well with over a furlong to go. Love Love battling on well, but Theory of Time has the lead as they enter the final furlong. Theory of Time out in front from Star in the making and Theory of Time continues the great start for the Apple be juveniles theory of time beats star in the making third love love rosadora was fourth oh. and uh, away they go racing for the irish thoroughbred marketing royal ascot two-year-old trial condition stakes and lady pauline was pretty swiftly into stride zulu zander in the dark jacket though trying to go with her tracking full verse in the royal blue jacket with the pale blue colors of ventura rebel and in touch with ventura rebel is can't stop now on the outside she's not running too freely in front, but she's taking a bit of a strong hold at this stage, Lady Pauline, being held together by John Velasquez. Uh, Zulu Zander is being nudged along to keep strides with her. They're racing already up to two furlong marker. He's still keeping a tight hold on Lady Pauline's head here. They've got just over a furlong and a half left to go. Now he's asking her to pick up. Moving into second place is Full Verse, who's grabbing the ground quite encouragingly. A furlong left to go. Lady Pauline leads by about a length and a half on the outside. Ventura Rebel's finishing off pretty well. Lady Pauline being gathered in by Ventura Rebel, and Ventura Rebel comes home to claim it. Lady Pauline well held. Niggled at towards the stand side is Maxi Boy and Rusper's Lad is the back marker as they come down towards the final two furlongs. The field tightly grouped, the action down the middle of the track. Dark side division about to be challenged on this side by Path of Thunder and Deverell on the far side. Just on the heels of the leaders, Arthur's Court. Historics making ground on the far side. Here comes Maxi Boy with a good looking run. Four in line with a furlong left to run. It's Path of Thunder who hits the front. The move is covered by Maxi Boy this side. Staying on late from a long way back is Rusper's Lad. It is. It's uh, going to be Maxi Boy. Maxi Boy's doing it. Maxi Boy wins first time out.